Okay, we're going to take a look at an op center function called mid batch update. We'll walk through what it is and why it's very useful. So, to demonstrate it, first of all, I'll start my schedule and I'll load a schedule onto the board. I'm just going to do the green ones for this particular customer, go forwards. So, I've created a schedule. Okay, um, this is my plan. Everything is scheduled the way it should be, but I'm not, I don't have any feedback from the production floor. So until I get some feedback, this is really just a, a plan, okay? So what we end up doing is using this function called mid batch update, which allows us to update the status of jobs that are currently running. So I'll save my schedule. I will go and I will run an update. And an update would typically come from an MES system, which is why it's called MES updates. We'll press the button. The updates have come in. We'll go back into our schedule and we'll zoom in a little bit. And what you can see is these little red lines, which indicated that these particular jobs have been updated. So in reality, time has moved forward a little bit and um, we essentially have you know, something where the, if I can grab that properly, there we go. We essentially have time moving forwards. MES has updated these jobs and we've got a little indicator that tells us that these jobs have been updated. Now, if I actually check my schedule, there's a validation I can do. And you can see that I've got some jobs out of order. Why is that? Basically, the updates have affected my plan. So, for example, if I look at this particular job here, you can see the first operation has been updated, and then the second operation is actually starting too early. So, why is it starting too early? And if we dig down a little bit, we'll take a look at the operation status. This is where the mid batch update has actually happened. So, we have said that the MAS has said the mid batch time was uh, on the 12th at midnight, and we have made 25 out of a total required of 154. If we look a little deeper, we can actually find that what the standard for this particular part was 45 minutes per item, but effectively we're actually running an hour and a half or so. So we're running really behind schedule. So what OpCenter has done, it has recalculated the end time based on the current speed of the job. So if the job was to get ahead of time, it would recalculate it again. But what has happened is that has pushed the end time out to the right, and, and basically this job has now started too early. So what a schedule would do at this point before doing any more operations, before bringing in any more new orders, will actually run a repair function. And the repair function simply allows us to get everything back into the correct sequence. You can see stuff move a little bit. We will validate. Everything's now back in the right sequence and we can move forward scheduling the, the other jobs in the schedule that we want to schedule and do that kind of stuff. So we can now move forward knowing that the schedule we have on the board has been updated by MES and now everything is back in sequence and I can, you know, I've had, um, I've created capacity in some cases and I've made jobs sort of run longer in some cases, but everything is now perfectly synced to the production floor.